Here is a puzzle I made the other day with a hidden QR code in there. You have to unshuffle the puzzle and then you can read it with your phone. It's printed with a single nozzle one color printer, but in two colors, where I first lay one layer of the black color on the bed and then print the rest of the puzzle in white and these two colors get fused together like this. If you print the black with a thinner layer height than the white, it works even better. So the white might be 0.3 millimeters tall whereas the black is perhaps 0.2. So they just lay on top of each other and the molten plastic goes where it can. I didn't design the files myself. Instead I used these wonderful files provided by Zucosel and this QR code generator that are both available for free. You take your URL, it could be for a video, it could be for your SNS, profile or it could be your Wi-Fi password. You paste it in here and you can get this printable STL file that prints out quite nicely. In order to make this into a puzzle, here are the settings you need to change. So the first thing you need to do is to make the code more lenient to holes because it's going to have a giant hole in the middle. To do that, change this correction here to high. That lets you have one third missing and still be readable. Make the base into a rectangle. You know that the puzzle is going to be 60 millimeters wide if you're using the 3x3 three three size. So let's make it slightly smaller than that, so 56. Then we're going to make the base 0 millimeters high or deep, which actually makes the whole base disappear and the depth of the code itself is 0 0 0.2 millimeters, so one layer about and we'll have zero margin and you'll get this it's a very thin STL model of a QR code which is exactly what we are after okay let's forget about the QR code for a while and first work on the puzzle so put it on your bed in your slicer. We need to move the missing empty hole around there because the QR code can't be missing its corner. It's only allowed to be missing the center. So I'm gonna divide this into parts uh, by using the split to objects. Now I can move around these pieces. I hold shift to move in increments of one millimeter and move all these pieces exactly by 20 millimeters which is their size and here is the G code or the print job that you'll have for the puzzle itself I'm gonna export that but before I close it I'm going to also save this as an STL file by the way you could have done the hole in the middle in Fusion as well, because there's a Fusion file available. You can also delete the numbers if you're working in Fusion by suppressing this feature here. Okay, now we're back in the slicer. Lay down the QR code and flip it around. It needs to be upside down because the code is going to be read from the bottom. And there you have your one layer QR code on the bed. You could just print this out as it is, but you see you'd have extraneous QR code blocks going around in the empty space as well. So we want to suppress all the blocks that are in the middle of this. And for that we are going to use this modifier thing. I'm going to show you an example with this cylinder first. So if you add this modifier cylinder and change the perimeter settings within that cylinder space, you see you can make the 
lines that are within that cylinder space disappear. So basically you're stamping out this circular shape out of your QR code. But I want to do the opposite. So what I'm going to do is make the default settings of the QR code be zero perimeters everywhere. That means that it's not printed at all. And use the modifier shape to then add perimeters. So if you follow these settings, you'll see that the cylinder actually now enables the QR code to appear wherever it touches. Now let's change that cylinder into the puzzle design that we've exported earlier. Add modifier load the STL file that we made of the puzzle where the empty space is missing. It appears in a funny place, but I'm gonna move it back to the center and turn it around. And the QR code file is now modified by this puzzle shape. The default settings for the QR code are zero perimeters, so it's empty, but the modifier shape will add perimeters, basically bringing it into existence only where it collides with the puzzle design. So export this G code and you will see your printer print a one single layer high QR code design only where it collides with the puzzle design. Print that first, change filament colors to something lighter and print the rest of the puzzle. If everything goes right, it'll print right on top and the two colors are fused together on the bottom of the print. It should work right out of the printer.